morning to everybody. Can you, you hear me, Sunny sir? Of course, thank you, Khanna sir. We can hear uh, you very clear. Just giving a brief. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Khanna ji, you have been at the helm of domestic tourism for, I think, all your life. Yes. And domestic tourism is now recognized by you as Mr. P.P. Khanna, so it's domestic. Chal hai. Oh. <laughs> sir, don't say that. Our Juchi sahab, jab tak hai, inhone hume, we have learned from him and we are still learning from him a lot of things and I am very happy that uh, he has not talked about the domestic tourism, which is actually the face of India as, at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so may I request you to share your thoughts on domestic tourism potential actually looking at rebuilding Jammu Kashmir as a region. Your thoughts, please. Okay. Thank you very much uh, to all the panelists. And uh, thank you, uh, Juthi, sir. You have really briefed well, very well about that, you know, the uh, domestic tourism and uh, from uh, all the corners of the country. And uh, exactly what you say that rightly you said when things normalized, you know, the domestic tourism will be on the driver's seat to take the industry forward. And if we are really talking about the JNK, no doubt the JNK, uh, like the pilgrimage of Vaishnu Devi and other, uh, you know, the religious uh, place, people will definitely go. But desire of the travel, we must say that it will never die from the people's mind. Now, the problem is how to nurture the brand new child uh, through post-COVID. That's a challenge in front of all of us. And we have to really follow the norms and the guidelines for travel uh, all, in all the unitaries and the states, uh, whether it's a state, whether it's a transporter, whether it's a hotel, whether it's a guide, whether the, even if it is a tourist. So hygiene and safety measures have to be adopted. That's the main idea to promote the tourism in this country. And if we really add to all these, uh, you know, these uh, norms, I, I, I think domestic tourism will come very fast in the country. But we have to start fresh as a demand and supply to create, you know, value for everyone. And what can we do to attract the tourists? That is a time to offer, you know, the tax breaks by the government on domestic holidays and conferences. That's the most important thing. So JNK government has to look after you know, the interest that how to uh, incentivize the domestic tourists and you know the other tourists also, those who are traveling into JNK. That's the most important thing. And the hotels also has to offer the best prices at this moment to compete with the other states or the union territories. And no doubt to say that uh, Mr. Juchi has already uh, said about a lot of things about that Jammu is, you know, what is Jammu and what is Kashmir. And uh, let me tell you, uh, Jammu is uh, referred as the gateway of, you know, the heaven and beauty uh -huh. and magnificence of the Bau Fort. Uh -huh. It's going to be Asian and Mubarak Mandi, Palace, Manasar Lake, Amar Mahal Museum. And these are things which are not exactly been marketed very well by the uh, this uh, union territories. So this is a time, this is an opportunity when we have to really capture it and we have to bring it to the people. The new destinations, like Mr. Juchi also said, the new places we have to explore. That is exactly where the people will would like to go and to explore. And Jammu, as uh, Mr. Juchi also said, has a other directive like Katra for Mata Vaishnu Devi Shrine, where actually which is the most important and almost about 12 to 15 million people every year they travel to, you know, the Mata Vaishnu Devi. And, uh, but we have never thought of clubbing uh, all this, uh, you know, the with the shrine, clubbing with the nearby places like Patni Top. Now Patni Top has become very, very important because of the in upcoming of the imprim the you know the uh, this uh, company which has a cable car as well as the you know the magic carpet and a lot of hotels and restaurants are there so this is very important to club with that i mean we are talking about what what happened that people go to vaishnu devi for one night they go by train or by a plane and sometimes they come back the same day 
so we have to include in our package like the uh, the the patni top or maybe uh, if i am not wrong this badarwa is also there in doda district and this is a new spot for honey bee tourism and uh, that's a very very important and uh, we have to you know uh, you know uh, promote all these sectors in such a way that we you know people go and promote domestic tourism in this country and this is a time opportunity everybody would like to go in within india and this is an opportunity for the jnk to promote that kashmir valley is no doubt to express itself it's a paradise on the earth and we need not to say unfortunately uh, you know this lockdown we are talking about the lockdown and we are locked down for the last let me tell you we are locked down for the last 3 months and how we have been facing but the fact is that kashmir is locked down for since september i must i mean uh, admit it here and uh, they have been really suffering for the last so many you know the months and years also but nevertheless as a tour operator we have to work in tandem with each other to make packages uh, with the tour operators pan india and like ad2i we have 11 chapters pan india and almost about 900 uh, members those who are promoting domestic tourism into country and that exactly we have to work with us to you know influence the tourists that kashmir is always a safe to travel and ensure tourists for their safety so that's the most important thing which exactly we have to look into that that how we can really work to promote the domestic tourism into the country and uh, to attract tourists to their states to the state or the union territory now and uh, all the state hotels has to do their best efforts to uh, to the tourists to couple with attractive offers and we can really create a vibes in the industry and uh, there's no doubt about that that we all have to come back and uh, at the time of this grave crisis in the industry all service providers should work with complementing each other and not with competing with each other that is my request to all of you we all have suffered lot and uh, now we have to reunite and de innovate and rebuild the tourism industry working jointly to promote tourism from the, uh, the the rock bottom positions we are here uh, the face of the tourism has changed but not the tourism so tourism will be there and uh, no doubt domestic tourism be the face of the country at the moment and but we need to be united of course with good governance that is the most important thing the good governance has to be there the government has to really support the tour operators all these tour operators the stakeholders of the fraternity and with better deliverances that is to balance and setting you know the domestic tourism in right perspective no doubt we have to come back and mr joshi has already briefed lot of about the domestic tourism will not uh, take much time because you know other penguins are there and we also need lot of feedback from the people but yes definitely jammu and kashmir no doubt it is a paradise it's a heaven on this earth and uh, no doubt uh, we are coming back very soon as soon as the lockdown is uplifted and within students and everybody knows that now the flights have already been started railways are already there on the line and transport system is also moving so 1 million more than 12 to 15 million as i said people will are going to jammu so we have to club with jammu and kashmir together so we have to make some kind of packages and i'll request the tour operators and the government and the state and the union territory to kindly forward us few of the packages with the new destinations so that we can really promote jammu and kashmir as a destination thank you very much